Jackson, first of all, your thoughts on the match? Oh, amazing, amazing performance, amazing result, you know, with a relatively inexperienced team, with a few f experienced first team boys to hold us together against, you know, a Premier League side. It was a fantastic result and great atmosphere. Yes, talking to the manager yesterday, he admitted that it was a young squad because of the depletion in terms of the Champions League mm -hmm. game the other night. Were you anticipating that when you came onto the pitch? To an extent, you know, we knew before we came that we, you know, the squad that we were going to have, it's quite similar to the squads we've had down at Brentford and uh, against Munch and Gladbach. So we knew the kind of team squad we were going to have for this game, especially because the first team was so busy with Champions League qualifiers. But, you know, that doesn't change a thing. You still, go, when you come out onto the pitch, as you're, as you're a first team player, you have to adapt into that position and play the way that the manager wants you to play. And I think every player did that spectacularly tonight. Perfect start with the early goal from Amido as well. Oh, the big man was fantastic. It's the best I've seen him since he's been here. Um, he, he really impressed me down at Brentford in what was a very physical game, but in a game like this against, you know, good, experienced Premier League defenders, and he looked, a, he looked a, to dominate them at times, and I'm um, so delighted for him to get the goal as well. Yeah, because no bones about it. This is a strong Liverpool side. It's their strongest, pro arguably their strongest side, minus one or two players. Sturridge obviously coming on in the second half, and obviously Suarez isn't here, but apart from that, you'd say it's close to being their strongest team. And uh, again, you know, we didn't know what sort of Liverpool side we were going to be facing today. We knew the squad we had, but again, we weren't, we weren't worried about you know, the personnel that they were going to send out today. It doesn't change the fact that we were going to approach the game in the same manner we approach every other game. There's been talk of you going out on loan to get more experience. Do you think a performance like that today can make the manager think again? It's a hard one. It's a hard one. You know, I'm, I was ha very happy with my individual performance today, but at the end of the day, I'm looking to get in front of guys like Scott Brown, who's obviously club captain, Joe Ledley, you know, experienced full international bear who I thought was magnificent today as well. And, you know, there's guys like Charlie and Effie that can also step into midfield. So it's, it's a very hard position to establish yourself in at this club, especially as a young player. And you've got guys like young players like Philip Twardzik, who's obviously out injured at the moment, who's also a central midfielder. So it's a very tough, tough, tough gig to get to get a, to get a game here. So you know, I, I think maybe going on loan would, wouldn't be the worst in the case in the world for me to build up some experience over the next six months to a year, and and then bring myself back and hopefully establish myself as a Celtic player. But saying that Celtic FC website man of the match today. Um, delighted with that. You know, I could have given it to anyone today. I thought Lucas in the first half was spectacular. Fraser made some great saves and. The back four were saw Adam Matthews was absolutely fantastic as well. So it's an honour to you know see something uh, award like that. But at the same time, I think you could have given it to anyone out there today.